The perfect omelette worthy of gracing the table of every five-star luxury hotel. I was taught this by a two Michelin star chef and have shown many chefs since. And now I'm gonna show you. Let's get cracking. The omelette is one of the fundamentals of being a cook and in a kitchen there's nowhere to hide, it's all about the ingredients and the technique. Choose the best eggs that you can afford, I'm using these Clarence Court free range organic Burford Browns, they've got incredible flavour and texture and it makes such a difference to your omelette. We're going to start off by cracking three eggs. When you crack your egg you want to crack it on a flat surface not on the edge of the bowl because that will prevent any shell going inside the egg and then into your omelette. We can see how fresh the eggs are by how tight the white is around the yolk and look at the colour of that yolk is incredible. And it's all down to the diet of the hens. We're going to start by hand blending the eggs together and what that does is it breaks down the egg and also aerates the mix. We're going to add a generous pinch of sea salt and then we're going to blend it again just to make sure it's all emulsified. Now you could do this with a whisk, but I thoroughly recommend using a hand blender as you can see how frothy the mix is getting. So we're going to start by heating a non-stick omelette pan and we're going to give it a good glug of extra virgin rapeseed oil. We're going to warm that up and then we're going to add a knob of butter. Now we're going to take the pan and we're going to swirl it around just to make sure that the whole of the bottom of the pan is completely coated in the butter and the oil and it's ready to add the egg mix. We're looking for the perfect temperature here, something that's not too hot and not too cold. So now we're going to add the egg mix and we're going to start to stir it. I'm using a pair of chopsticks because I think this is perfect to get the right consistency. So you're going to stir it now until the egg starts to set and you end up with a very, very fine curd. And remember, you're in control of the cooking temperature. If it's too hot, turn it down or lift the pan away from the heat. Now when it looks like this, we are almost ready for the next stage. We're going to switch to a spatula and we're going to start to spread out the mix. Look at that lovely froth you have on top. That was achieved by the hand blender and the salt. And when we fold the omelette with our filling, that froth is going to be there and it will set and create a lovely souffle-like texture. We're going to continue to spread it out, filling all the gaps going right up to the edges using the sides of the pan and then we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to use the residual heat of the pan to allow the omelette to set. We're now going to take the spatula and run it round the outside of the omelette, just loosening the omelette from the edge of the pan. And now we're just going to allow it to sit in the pan for 30 seconds. So now tilting the pan towards yourself, using gravity to help you, we're going to fold in one side of the omelette, and then we're going to fold in the other side to create a V-shape. If we were going to fill this omelette, it would go right here. But for this example, we're just going to do a plain omelette. Fold the tip of the V over and then put the spatula underneath and flip it over. We're going to use the edge of the pan to help us to create that half moon shape. Write in the comments below what your favourite filling is, I'd love to know. So now we're going to put the omelette into the oven for 30 seconds. That's just going to seal the edge and help set the centre a little bit. We still want it to be a little bit runny in the middle. I mean, this is such a quick meal. So we're going to take the omelette out of the pan and we're going to put it onto the plate and we're going to take a little pastry brush and we're going to brush it with butter and then we're going to sprinkle it with salt and pepper. And there you have a really cheap, flexible, underrated, high protein meal that's suitable for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And as you can see, there's really nowhere to hide. It's all about the quality of the eggs and the technique of the chef that make this a win or fail dish. And now it's time to have a look into the center of the omelette. It's lovely and even all the way around. It's lovely and light in the center and it's still moist. It's everything that I want in an omelette. If you've learned something, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And now it's time for my breakfast. I've been the London Chef. Thank you for watching. Gonna have some more.